Good evening. This is Tina. How are you doing today? Um, we have to stop a little bit here to talk about Node Package Manager because later on we will using the third party modules. So we have to using the Node Package Manager to install them. So first I want to talk about what is Node Package Manager? Why do we need that? So give you a short introduction. <clears throat> when we write a project, okay? When we write a project, this is our project. What kind of things is going to include? The first will be the code we wrote, right? We write, which is our own JS files. And then it's going to using the core modules from Node. But sometimes we might need other functionality which core module doesn't provide. And probably I don't want to write by myself. So in this case, we will see if someone write the modules, then I can use them. Those are called a third party module or third or third party dependencies or your dependencies. Okay, dependencies, which is uh, some others create this module, like, um, mm, oh, like, uh, suppose in Node, normally we don't do, okay, oh, uh, later on we will you learn about the um, QS to uh, parse the URL, or we will learn about uh, the EJS, okay, how the, the template. But um, Node doesn't have this, okay, provided. And I don't want to create it by ourselves. So we can use the third party dependencies. So now, where is this third party dependency? How to manage them? How to install them? Uninstall them? Upgrade them? All of them is managed by NPM. So where are those dependency? Okay, so if I want to install where the node package manager to download those files into my uh, our project, right? It uh, all the third party dependency or modules must register in npmgs.com. You register there, and the, under this uh, website, it has uh, lots of modules. Like uh, later on, we will learn about Express, okay, EJS, like right, and uh, uh, for testing, deploy like uh, Mocha, Chai, uh, uh, what others, uh, Cookie Parser and the session all of them but a uh, uh, session uh uh oh handle static static uh, express already provided anyway all all lots and lots of the dependencies or modules register on here and they are ready for you to use so what you need to do just using npm to install to your project okay so where is npm when we when we install node you already install npm so now let me show you npm okay so here i'm here i we know we can using app.js we can run uh, application using node right this is a command okay and we also can check node version like this right and then what you can do is you can use the npm version. This is npm version. And when you install node, npm, node package manager is already installed. So you can use. So now talk about uh, node, uh, npm stands for node package manager. What is a package? 
package in Node. It should uh, a package in Node means it contains all the JS files which needed for a module or for your project. And uh, in uh, inside a package in Node, mostly you will have three files. The first file is the all the JS files, okay, which contains your logic or functions, all the things. Okay. Second one, you will have a package dot JSON, which is a manifest file, like uh, contains a lot of things, like uh, the basic uh, information about your package or project, like uh, the author, the version, and uh, it also need to mention about suppose you using third part dependencies. So what are the third part dependency you you used? And what's the uh, file to start well, some script, okay? How to start your application and uh, what's the engine being used for you are engine means uh, which node version you are used. Probably you need that for deploy on the uh, cloud system, cloud environment. So we will see a version of package. We will see package.json later. There's another one which is called package log.json. This file we will also talk about later. So in this video, I just want to give an introduction of NPM and we will have several videos about NPM and let's see in other videos okay thank you for watching and uh, see you next time bye bye